What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 52. Today, I'm going to show you how to mix drum and bass together. Well, specifically the kick drum and bass together, whether it be a synth bass or a bass guitar, whatever it is. A lot of the times, uh, mixers and audio mixers, they get a little problem when it comes to mixing the bass and the kick drum because they kind of always mesh together and they kind of mold into one and you can't really separate the two from each other in the mix. I'm going to show you two ways in how to do it. Today in part one, I'm going to show you how to duck the bass, and by con which is controlled by the kick. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to EQ it properly to uh, EQ the kick and EQ the bass. So you kind of mold it and separate from each other to make a nice cohesive mix between the two instruments. With that said, I'm going to get straight into the tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and hit play here. And uh, you're going to hear what I got going on. All right, so there it is right there. Basically, a lot of the times this will get used. So basically, the first step we want to do is we want to control our bass guitar or our guitar bass uh, controlled by our kick drum. That's because our kick, we kind of want that to stand out and our bass to be kind of in the background. So this is how we do it. Basically, we go to our bass guitar track. We go to our inserts. We go to dynamics, compressor, go to stereo. And now we're going to create a little bit of a ducker. So what we want to do is we want to side chain it and let it be controlled by our kick track. So you select from our side chain, your kick track, and then you just go ahead and you want to manipulate some of your settings in your compressor. Now, basically off the bat, what you want is a very fast attack and your release time. You want to just make it perfect enough for the kick. So as long as the kick is uh, on, you want the release to stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that with you guys right now. And your ratio, you want to anywhere between about 2.5 and 3.5. Some might say three, a ratio of 3.5 is a lot. More subtly, you want to go lower, but... Um, I kind of like around in this low range right here. You basically don't have to change that that much, so you can leave it at that. Your knee, you can leave the same, and again, your threshold, you want a, about a 6 dB of uh, gain reduction. Uh, somewhere around there, some might say, again, that's a lot, but I think it kind of works for the most part in general. So aim for 6 dBs of uh, gain reduction, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and play and adjust some of the things that I just told you. All right, so right there, we quickly created our little ducker right there. Very quickly, like I showed you, fast attack, ratio, you just leave the same, your knee the same. You adjust your release. So as you can see, my release, when I hit play, it kind of lasts for the entire kick. If you do a quick release, it just won't work as well. You want to kind of have a release that kind of lasts for the kick. So what was I? I think it was around there. And again, for your threshold, you want to get about 60 dBs of gain reduction. Some say it might be a lot, but I think that's a general rule that we kind of follow when we kind of do ducking. For you guys to follow, if it sounds too much and sounds kind of pumping too much, then you're going to want to lower that and kind of go to a lower gain reduction. Actually, right here, I think I'm hitting about four. And as you can, can see, uh, kind of your gain things gets uh, messed up here when you bring in a compressor. So I, what I like to do is always bring... What I like to do, I always like to bring the gain down back to zero so it doesn't affect my actual volume of my bass guitar and I can actually just go ahead and adjust it here if I want it louder or quieter. All right, so let's go ahead and A-B that right now. So this is with it on. This is off. So as you can see, it is a subtle difference, but you actually do hear that kick standing out a lot more when we duck the bass guitar by um, by just bringing in a little compressor and just doing a little ducking method right there. So what I'm going to do right for you guys is I'm going to save this as a preset, and I'm going to call it, um, 
uh, bass guitar ducking. Actually, I'll just call it bass ducking because you could use this on uh, synth bass as well. Uh, then you can go ahead, use this as a preset and kind of go ahead and adjust it from there. But like I said, just kind of mold it to your kick. So you want a release time that kind of lasts for your whole kick. So uh, but that's pretty much it. That's it. How you, that's how you do ducking in, um, in Logic Pro. This is part one. Part two, I'm going to show you how to EQ the two to get a nice, nicer cohesive mix. So with that said, if you have any questions on this on part one, I will... Uh, you can ask them in the comment section. I'll try and answer them as best I can. And uh, as usual, more good videos always come soon, guys. So remember to rate and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Later.